Are you looking for efficient ways to transcribe the call recordings of your Amazon Connect instance or custom contact center solution in AWS? Hey everyone, this is Hector from WebRTC Ventures and in today's video we will explore an approach that you can implement right away and that doesn't require any big changes in your infrastructure. In Amazon Connect, you can access transcriptions and other advanced AI features such as sentiment analysis and call summaries through contact lens. However, if you can't use contact lens or you're using a different contact center solution, you can build your own transcription mechanism using S3, Amazon Transcribe, and AWS Lambda. Let's see how to do that. First of all, if you're using Amazon Connect, you should be able to set up the location of the call recordings when creating the instance. You can also specify a custom location if you check the advanced checkbox. If you're not sure if this was set up, you can go to the Amazon Connect dashboard, click on your instance, and then select data storage. You can edit the recording's location by clicking Edit. In case you're using a custom solution, just make sure you set up a mechanism to upload your recordings to S3. For instance, take this snippet written in Python where we use the AWS SDK to upload a recording file called callrecording.mp3 to a bucket call my bucket. Be sure to adapt this to the logic of your own contact center solution. The next step is to create a Lambda function that triggers the transcription process when a new file is created on S3. If you've never created a Lambda function before, you'll be presented with this screen where you can click the create a function button. Next, add a name for your function. I'll name this one Initiate Transcript and select your desired runtime. In this case, I will select Python. For this function, I will create a new Lambda execution role with basic permissions. Now, let's click on Create Function. Now, before writing the code, Let's assign two more permissions. One to allow this function to access Amazon Transcribe and another one for accessing S3. To do so, let's go to Configuration and then Permissions. And from here, let's click on the role name to edit it in a separate tab. Now, let's click on Add Permissions and then Create Inline Policy. In Service, Let's choose Transcribe. And under Actions Allowed, let's search for Start Transcription Job and check it. Then let's click on Next. Let's add a meaningful name for the policy, like Amazon Transcribe, and click on Create Policy. Now let's perform the same steps as before but now we will select S3 as the service. And we will add two actions allowed. One is get object, and the other one is put object. Let's also make sure that the function will only be able to access the resources that it needs to. To do so, let's click on the add ARNs and add the name of the bucket. So this is my bucket, and then let's click on the any object name. This grants the function access to any file in the bucket. Now let's click on add ARNs and click on next. Again, let's add a name. So this will be called S3. And then let's click on create policy. Now let's get back to the Lambda definition and go to the code tab. 
I will paste the code of the Lambda function in here. I am importing some Python packages, some Python libraries, including the AWS SDK. I am creating a client for interacting with the Amazon transcribe service, and I'm also defining the language of the recording. Now let me format this a, a bit. I'm gonna remove this. So I am creating an ID for the job that I will also use as the name of the transcription file. I am getting the file name and the bucket name from the event that triggered this Lambda function, which we will talk about in a second. And I'm defining some, some parameters such as the format of the file, the name of the output file, and a prefix that will be used to store the transcriptions file. Then I am using the transcribe client to start the transcription job. I add a name for the transcription job. I add the location of the file that I want to transcript. I set the media format, the language, and also the name of the bucket where I want the transcription file to be stored. I also set up a name. And finally, I return a status code of 200 to let know the trigger that the function was successfully executed. So now let's publish this function by clicking the deploy button. The next step is to define a trigger for this function. To do so, let's click the add trigger button and select S3 as the source. Then select the Amazon Connect instance bucket. To make sure this function only triggers with recordings, let's also add the call recordings prefix and also the dot empty tree extension as a suffix. Let's acknowledge the warning about recursive writing and click on add. Now let's test our Lambda function. For testing purposes, we will manually upload the recording to our bucket under the call recordings prefix and see what happens. So I'm gonna click in upload, add files and customer call. So I'm gonna click in upload. Let's wait until the file is uploaded. And close this screen. After uploading the file, you should be able to see a new transcription job created in Amazon Transcribe. You can see the details of the job by clicking in its ID. And then you can go to the bucket under the call transcript prefix. And there you will find the transcription file that resulted from the transcription job. Now you can download this file using your application and process it accordingly. By leveraging S3, Amazon Transcribe, and AWS Lambda, you can build a serverless transcription mechanism for your contact center solution. All you need to do is store your call recordings on S3 and trigger a Lambda function that initiates a transcription job using Amazon Transcribe. All this without having to provision or maintain a single server. Ready to implement transcriptions in your contact center solution? At WebRTC Ventures, we are experts integrating AI features into any kind of real-time communication application. Contact us to know more about our services at webrtc.ventures contact. Be sure to follow us on LinkedIn as webrtc.ventures and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more WebRTC tips. Let's make it live!